guys welcome back and thank you for coming to my channel or clicking on this video so in today's video we are just gonna do a get ready with me type of video kind of slash makeup tutorial ish it just felt like doing a kind of makeup tutorial type of video today I was gonna do like a testing new products type of video but I only have like a couple new things in this video so it wasn't really enough to make just a separate video on that so I came up with this video and yeah I hope you guys enjoy it uh, definitely if you want to get ready with me go ahead and grab your stuff girl and let's go all right guys so don't mind my face it's a little bit of a mess right now I just have a couple of new things I want to try this being one of them this is the Clinique beyond perfecting foundation and concealer this isn't like a new product but it's new to me I just purchased it during the Sephora VIP sale so I'm first going to use the benefit professional primer I'm just gonna put that all over the face so now I'm just gonna apply my foundation. I have a little bit on the back of my hand and it just goes straight in on the foundation and straight onto the face. I feel like that actually has some really, really nice coverage. Um, it might be a tad bit too dark, but it's okay, we'll make it work. And as for the coverage like I, and the finish, like I feel like it kind of has a slightly dewy finish, but the coverage is really, really nice. I really like this so far so now I'm gonna go in with a mixture of some concealers I'm just going to use the ColourPop no filter concealer as well as the Maybelline fit me concealer uh, this one is in the shade 20 sand and this ColourPop is in the color 15 light neutral <music> So concealer blended beautifully on top of that foundation and I feel like everything is looking very nice, very flawless and full coverage. So now I'm just going to go ahead and set everything with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is in the shade 10 Fair Light and I'm just going to do that, you know, underneath the eyes, on the top of the eyes and everywhere else basically. Everything is set, looking good. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna use is the Hoola bronzer out of this Cheekathon palette from Benefit. And just going to bronze up the face with that. So now I'm gonna go in with blush from the same Cheekathon palette and I'm just gonna use the Dandelion blush. I definitely just wanted something um, kind of light and not too like prominent you know so dandelion is the perfect shade for that now it is time for highlights and I'm going to use the new kind of not so new glow kit and this is the sugar glow kit and I'm gonna use my beauty blender with this and I think I'm gonna go in with butterscotch and maybe mix a little bit of marshmallow in there <laughs> Wow. Gorgeous. <laughs> Do you guys see that? So I love glow kits. Like they never let me down. And uh, clearly this one does not let me down either. So this is the highlight. It is just, woo, it's gorgeous. Super, super intense. Loving it. So now that my face is done, I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just spray this all over the face. Mm. Love this stuff. I am going to go ahead and do my brows. Brows are really hard for me to do on camera, so I'm gonna do those off camera real quick and then I'll be right back. Brows are on. Please don't mind them. They truly are just looking jacked up today. Not having it with them. Mm -mm. But if you're interested, I did use the Benefit Cabral for my brows. So mainly for the eyeshadow today, we're going to be using the Morphe. I think this is the 35R 
uh, Ready Set Gold palette. I really wish that these had a mirror because this bugs me when I do tutorials because I have to grab another palette. Like, So don't mind this palette. I'm not using this one. I'm just using it for the mirror today. So first off in my crease, I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here. I noticed that the um, Clinique foundation is settling in my fine lines right here. So, mm, that's no bueno so far. Mm -mm, I don't like that. I mean, we'll see how it holds up for the rest of the day, but just wanted to kind of point that out real quick. Oh, that is a beautiful shade. Love that. Uh, let's see, the next shade I'm gonna go in with is this shade right here. And again, I'm just going to put that in the crease, but yeah, so lately, um, I have really been wanting to kind of implement more like workout videos into my YouTube channel. So I did post one the other day. I hope you guys liked it. I know it's definitely something different, but you know what? Like, I just feel like fitness and makeup are like two of the things i'm really really passionate about just things that i really really love and love to like share with other people so i feel like you know what better way to share this with you guys than on my youtube channel so i'll definitely be doing more like workout videos and stuff and i just you know i feel like i have a lot of information and tips and tricks or whatever to give you guys uh, not not only on you know makeup stuff but also on fitness stuff because I have been um, you know on my fitness journey for about like three years now and it's definitely been on and off on and off you know I did get into a car accident about gosh I think almost two years ago and um, I broke my foot and that was just like the worst time because I gained so much weight. I gained, I think almost about 20, 20 pounds. And now like I am down basically 30 pounds from that. So, you know, before the accident, I was like working out and stuff and trying to get healthy. And I was actually getting down like, you know, to a pretty good weight and then I gained well, actually, I was about like 130, so I gained about like 30 pounds. So definitely after my accident, you know, I had to start all the way from the bottom again. And, you know, it was hard. It was it was definitely hard. But like I said, I just feel like I have so much to share with you guys. And, you know, just kind of want to share my journey with you guys and how I lost, you know, basically about 30 pounds. I know that losing weight can be so, so hard. But, you know, I'm just going to tell you right now the main thing you can do is clean up your diet like I cannot tell you how much of a difference that makes like it it truly truly does I'm gonna go ahead and use this warmer shade right here so you know of course there are um, ways to still enjoy you know some of the things you really really like and you know substitute it with different things so that's kind of what I want to show you guys and do like, you know, what I eat in a day type of videos and just stuff like that. So, you know, I can just kind of show you guys like things you should stay away from and things you can eat and what's good for you to eat. So I'm really, really excited for, you know, the videos to come and I hope you guys are too. I mean, I know that I love watching fitness videos and stuff like Whitney Simmons here on YouTube. I love her videos like they just keep me motivated so I hope that I can be you know something of that to you guys like just a motivation and inspiration and you know just a place where you can you know get workout ideas and tips and tricks on losing weight. So I hope you guys are excited for that. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Stila Peachy Keen and these are their Magnificent Metals eyeshadows and I'm just going to I think put this on the inner corner and then for the rest of the lid I'm going to go in with another Magnificent Metal shadow and this is in the shade Next to Note, Next to Note, N-O-T-T-E, I'm not sure how to say that but this is gonna go all over the lid and I just, I have not used this color yet and ooh, I'm excited. 
I actually changed my mind. I'm gonna take this also on the inner corner. And then I think I'm gonna take that lighter peachy keen shade and put it like right in the center. So I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with another shadow again. I'm just gonna go in with this kind of red toned shadow right here from the palette and kind of rework that into the crease. Better. I just wanted to add a little bit more red in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Peachy Keen again and just kind of put this over the center of the lid just for that little extra pop. To finish up this look, I'm just going to use those same uh, transition like crease shades and just put that on the lower lash line and kind of smoke those out. Now I'm just going to take a flat definer brush and this medium tone brown shade and put that underneath the lash line. And I'm just going to do some wings with my NYC liquid liner. And I might have to do this off camera, like, again, wings, liner, eyebrows, they're so hard to do on camera. They ain't perfect, but we got them on. So since that is pretty liquidy, I'm just gonna wait for the wings to dry a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and put on a few coats of mascara. Okay guys, so that is it for the eyes. And now I just wanna go ahead and do a lippy real quick. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Tootsie. And I'm just going to put that all over the lips. So now that I have the lippy on, I'm just going to go in with the Buxom Gloss in, what is this shade? Pink Lady. So just going to top that off with a little bit of Pink Lady. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me and just enjoyed this like little makeup tutorial thing that I came up with. I can't wait for all my new video content to come out and of course if you guys have any suggestions whether it be you know fitness stuff, makeup collection stuff, or just makeup tutorials in general then definitely leave me a comment below on what you would like to see. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!